Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Pray there's something about that man named Jesus. Hallelujah. In the Bible we find. I remember my pastor many years ago, Brother James Jr. Bowling, great man of God. He preached, preached this message when I was a young man. Something about this man. Hallelujah. I remember here in the Bible in John chapter 19, the Bible says, it says, Then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him. And the soldiers platted a crown of thorns and they put it on his head. And they put on him a purple robe and said, Hail, King of the Jews. But that's not what really made him of reputation. He said, Hail, the King of the Jews. And they smote him with their hands. And that's what made him a reputation there. As he bore the stripes, as he bore the pain, by his stripes we are healed. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our people is upon him. But Pilate therefore went forth again and said unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you that you may know that I find no fault in him. This is what made him his reputation. This is what, when he emptied himself out, and this is what makes him Jesus. This man, Pilate, he finds no fault in this man. He finds nothing wrong with this man. But then he said something real profound in verse 5 of chapter 19. He said, Then came Jesus forth wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. And Pilate said unto him, Behold the man. Behold the man. Behold the man. A man of no reputation. Oh, a man. How Pilate said, I find no fault in this man. There's something about him that changes the way I think. I'm a man of great power and great authority. Why am I? Why is he worried about killing this man This that calls himself king of the Jews? Because when the Son of God comes in front of you and he stretches his hand out to you, you know that it's the Son of God. And let me tell you something tonight. If the Son of God has stretched his hand out to you, you better take hold of that hand and not look back. You better look towards glory. Because let me tell you something, church. He's coming back. He's coming soon. We can tell signs of the time that our Lord and Savior oh, that's good. is soon coming. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, Pilate said about behold. Behold the, behold the man. Oh, Jesus. We offer that to you tonight. A simple, simple timeless message. Behold the man. Oh, this man with no reputation, oh. meaning not somebody high in authority and all these things. Right. How you could bring uh, some of the greatest people of all time, those uh, that sung the greatest song, the number one hit singers and all these people, the greatest movie stars and everything and all their caravan. And as they come sweeping through town, people will begin to want to follow them because of their great name, because of all this stuff and that song that they sung or, or maybe all, all the things that they do and everything. But here comes this Jesus Christ who comes riding into Jerusalem on a donkey. When the king is supposed to come in and ride on a white horse, but our king puts himself down and he empties himself out and he puts, comes in riding on this little donkey that was prepared for him and he rides it in Jer to Jerusalem and they lay palms down in front of him and they praise him. Oh, but the next time you find him coming through the streets, they begin to scourge him and throw things at him and mock him and spit upon him and ridicule. That's what made him a reputation. I'm uh, not a wild horse, uh, but let me tell you something. Uh, he ain't coming back the next time on no donkey. He ain't coming back next time with no reputation. He's coming back as God and the Father, God and the Son, and God and the Holy Ghost. Uh, and the next time that he comes back, uh, he's coming back with his angels. Uh, the next time he's coming back, uh, he's coming back to get his church uh, and the trump will sound the trumpet and the trumpet of God shall sound and the dead in Christ are going to rise up out of the ground and those that are alive will be called up to meet them in the air. That's what I'm talking about. This time it's with the re without reputation but the next time he'll have a reputation that he is the king of glory, the alpha and omega, the beginning and the end and the everlasting father. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. 
The Pharisees called him a nobody. <laughs> the Sadducees were just sad. <laughs> but he was Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he was a man without sin. But he took on the sin. What made his reputation was that he took the sins upon the world. The weight of everybody, the weight of us all, he bore it all upon his back on the cross of Calvary so you could be saved. A simple, timeless message, but it's not grown weak in power. It's the truth. In the name of Jesus, every devil in hell has to flee. Only, this the only name whereby you can be saved is by the name of Jesus Christ.